Hey guys, it's Mrs. Talbot here, the art teacher at Joe K. Bryan Elementary. And today we're gonna make some op art that's like optical illusion art. And it's gonna look like these circles on the paper popping out at us. It's gonna look really cool. Um, here's what you're gonna need. You're gonna need a piece of paper, a pencil or something to write with, a ruler or straight edge, uh, something that's circular that you can trace. It could be a plastic uh, applesauce cup or anything. I just happen to have this bowl laying around. And you'll need something to color with, like crayons or colored pencils or markers. All right, let's get started. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna make a dot in the middle of your paper. You can kind of be off to one side if you wanted to do something kind of interesting. Um, you can put it wherever you want, except for I wouldn't put it in the corner of the picture. All right, we're gonna draw some rays of sunshine coming out of that dot. So you'll line up your ruler with the dot. Drawing with a ruler takes a little bit of practice. Gotta hold it down tight with your non-dominant hand that you're not writing with so it doesn't slide. And we're just gonna make all these lovely lines going everywhere. Okay, well, we need some circles. So I'm gonna turn this upside down. And you need to make three of these guys. You can put them wherever you want. I wouldn't cover the center if I were you, but you can put them where you want to. Now we're gonna to need to use the eraser end of our pencil and clear them out. Here's how we're gonna make the circles look 3D. So let me zoom in on this one. You're gonna put a dot at the bottom and a dot at the top. Imagine it's a little globe and that's the North Pole and the South Pole. All right, we're gonna connect the north and south pole with a curved line. And we'll do the same thing on this side. All right, kinda looks like we made a big dragon eye. All right, so we're gonna connect those lines again, those dots again, I mean. Same thing on the other side. All right, and you might have room for one more. That's all I've got room for. I'm gonna turn that paper. And we'll do the same thing going the other way. So we'll connect those dots. And we did that dragon eye going the other way, but it looks quite different this time. And then we're gonna connect those dots again for the curve. And now we kind of have this optical illusion of this orb that's kind of popping out at us. Let's go ahead and do that to our other two circles. All right, um, I went ahead and I finished the other two. If you haven't finished those already, you need to go ahead and pause the video and finish those guys up. Um, I decided to put a couple extra lines on these, so they look a little more complicated than this one, but uh, either way, it works just fine. All right, so here's what we need to do. To color these guys, they're gonna be like a checkerboard, and we're gonna work one segment at a time. So I'm choosing red and black, red, skip a space, red,
skip a space, red, skip a space, red. The next section, we're going to start with white, white for that skipped space, red, skip, red, or whatever color you're using, skip, red, skip, and then I'll alternate. I'll start with red on the next one. It's handy to do all of the first color and then go back and fill in the second color. If you're switching back and forth between markers the whole time, you're more likely to make a mistake. So I said red, skip, red, skip, red, skip, red. And my final one, skip, red. And these look a little bit interesting. They're kind of long and skinny and pointy. Okay, other side. So I'm gonna start, skip, red, skip, red, skip, red. Okay, next section, red, skip, red, skip, red, skip, red, and that last one, skip, red, skip, red, skip, red. Now you could leave it like that with one color in white. That looks really interesting. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add black to mine. It's really simple to go back in and put the second color since you've already got it all mapped out. Once you have all three of your spheres colored, uh, the background is up to you. You can color however you would like to color it. I think I'm gonna do mine white and blue. Thanks for watching, awesome artists. I can't wait to see what you create.